Hi, this is a video request. I'm going to show you how to export HD footage from Final Cut Pro. Okay, this is my settings and ways how I export my video out of Final Cut Pro. So I've just, for example, I've taken some footage that I recorded on the Hogpog HD HD PVR, and I want to put in Final Cut Pro, and I want to make sure that you know my settings are correct and right and um, I'll be able to export so these are my settings which I'm about to show you now what I do so I open up Final Cut Pro I have inserted my video footage as you can see that's the, the name I've given it I've made a folder so I've added the, fo the footage in there uh, the sequence I've given the sequence a name um, I've got my effects tabs here if I want to use any of these effects and stuff. So here's the video now in the viewer and here's how it will look on the final piece on the canvas. So the canvas is basically your timeline. Here's the sequence, the same name, here's the timeline. Anything that happens here in the timeline will affect the video and you can see what will happen to the timeline in the canvas on the right over here so um, to begin you get all your footage ready you put your inputs you put your inputs and outputs in if you don't know what the shortcuts for the inputs and outputs in I for in O for out that's the same for movie, uh, iMovie, I for in, O for out, and um, in some other po programs, most of the Mac programs, their input and outs for video software is I for in, O for out. So I've done that already. I've put my, I've put in my inputs. So I for in, O for out. As you can see, those are my inputs there. Now looking at the video now, it's in widescreen. It looks like it's gonna come out widescreen. I don't want it to come out widescreen. I want it a full screen. So what I do in the viewer, I hold down the shift button, go to the end of the the wire and image frame, go to the corner here, hold down the shift button, then I just drag. So you can see now it's changing in the canvas. So I want it full screen, yeah? Yep, that's how I want it. And now you've noticed on the timeline, it needs rendering because I've made changes to the video. As you can see, it needs to be rendered. So if you know your shortcuts, if you want to render, you, put, you hold down Apple and then press R. If you don't know how to get there, you go to sequence, you can do render selection and then pick both. So this will do audio and video. Um, these are the parts where you, where the in and outs are. If you want to render everything, you go down to render all, and then hold down, hold down the Alt key and press R to render all. So I just want to render the selection I want. So just go to render. Render video. That's all I want to do. I want to render my video. I don't really care about the audio. So right now, as as we can see, it's it's it's, it's going to it says writing the video. So that's what it's doing. So just to let you know quickly what we've done so far, we have imported our footage in. We have checked. We've made. We've we have checked what we want to use. So use your inputs and outputs. And also we have changed the size of our video to make it full screen instead of making it look widescreen. Because usually when you when you export your video in Final Cut Pro, it will it will probably come out like widescreen, which you don't want. So what you have to do is go to your frame and wire in your viewer, hold down shift and pull down pull down and then make it full screen so you see the changes in your canvas okay hold on with me okay. Okay. 
okay so right now it's it's um it's rendering so it's rendering the video part because the audio is done already as you can see as you can see so you press apple r to render so it'll render all or you'll render what needs to be rendered so what it's doing right now is rendering my video let's just wait for that to do what it needs to do my Mac is quite a bit slow but if you have a fast Mac and you ha it has good uh, memory and speed it will be able to render quickly my Mac is very old I've had it since 2007 and um, I guess it, uh, it's quite quite slow it's just a small you know chopped up file I didn't really do anything long so as you can see it's rendering okay it's rendered now as you can see on the timeline it should be all blue so this is the this is the inputs and outputs I want to use to export so so both of them are are blue so that means it is both of the video and audio rendered pardon me now I want to export it so now what I do I go to file export using QuickTime configuration click on that now you have your save screen open you go to format change from quicktime movie to mpeg4 then i go to options now these are my settings as you can see on my screen because i do this so many times these are my settings yeah so this how it will look like in default yeah this is the default settings when it's like this you just go to mp4 go to the video tab go to the video format and pick the compression h.2641 that's the compressor I want data rate data rate is basically the size of pixels and the size of your file this will make your picture perfect it will keep it as it was recorded and much and very clean and very clean so you change your date rate data rate to 6000 6000 did you just see that at the bottom of the file size how it changed let me remove 6000 look at that yeah so I could put in 6000 7000 so I'm gonna put in 7000 yeah now my date my date rate is telling me how much it is yep 7128 kilobytes per second the file size that's how it is that's the file size now so I want it 7000 yep so now I go to image size I pick image size and I change it to 1280 times 720 HD yep I, you, when this box is on you un, you uncheck it yeah because you don't want it you uncheck it you remove letterbox you don't want that frame rate is 30 keyframe every 24 frames yep now we go to audio on audio format AAC leave everything as it is yeah don't change anything just leave it as it is encoding quality if you change it from good to better to best it doesn't make a difference yeah so that's it streaming forget about it there's nothing to stream you're just dealing with the video tab and audio tab so once you've made those made those made those changes once you've made those changes in to your exporting settings hit OK once you hit OK you give it a name press save and when that's done when that's done your video quality should come out like this there you go so that's how I export my videos in Final Cut Pro and and upload them up to YouTube thank you for watching comment rate leave your comments if you need any help private message me thank you for watching this video